x and y are positive integers such that 2 over 9 equal to 1 over x plus 1 over y. Find the value of x plus y. So when we have positive integers and we have fractions, the most useful way for starting uh, to solve the problem is to multiply by the denominators to get rid of these denominators 9x and y. So if I want to get rid of them, I have first 2 over 9 equal to 1 over x plus 1 over y. I multiply by 9xy. So then we will have 2xy equal to 9y first one plus 9x. After that, we take all things to one side, for example, left hand side. So these to left hand side, these to left hand side. Then we have 2xy minus 9y minus 9x equal to 0. Now I want to factorize this. For creating xy, for example, 2xy, then you can't place any number here. Because anything times 2x is even, but we want 9x. So when you see these types of problem, for example, coefficient is 2, you can say it is generalization of SFFT, Simon's favorite factoring trick. Here we should multiply by 2. Then we have 4xy minus 18x minus minus 18y minus 18x equal to 0. And after that, now we can factorize. How? Let's write below this. I place 2x, 2y. So I've created 4xy. Now I want to create negative 18y so i should place what number in what place minus 9 here so i will create this now for creating negative x 18x i place this but here i have plus 81 so i should add 81 to both sides one of them here 81 and it will be 81 so what are the possible cases it can be 1 it can be 81 it can be 3, because 81 is 3 to the 4. So we can 3, 3 cubed, which is 27. 20 and 9, 9, other case. And the other one, 27, 3, 81, 1. Because the problem wants only x plus y. So... For example, the case that 1, and it is symmetric with respect to x and y. If we check 1, 81, it is exactly similar to 81, 1, the answer of x and plus y. So we need to only check one of them, only x and y will be switched. Also for this case, 327, it is exactly similar to this. So we need to only check first three cases. In first case, if I add 2x minus 9 plus 2y minus 9 equal to 1 plus 81. Ah, and also let's do something. We should check both of them. Because x and y, we should check that have to be positive integers. So 2x minus 1, 9 is 1. And 2y minus 9 is 81. So if we add by 9, 2x will be 10. And here again, add by 9, 2y will be 90. So in first case, if we divide by 2, x will be 5. Again here, if we divide by 2, y will be 45. You can also check that x and y satisfy the main equation. In this case, x plus y equal to 50. So it's our first answer. Let's check. 
other two cases? Okay, in this case, 2x minus 9 is 3. 2y minus 9 is 27. So, if we add by 3, by 9, 2x is 12. Here, 2y will be 36. If we divide by 2, x, the first equation, will be 6. And the second equation, y, if we divide by 2, will be 18. And in this case, x plus y will be what? 18 plus 6 is 24. It is our second answer. Let's check the third case, 9. So if we check here, there are what? 2x minus 9, 2y minus 9. So 2x minus 9 is 9. 2y minus 9 is also 9. So if we add both sides by 9, 2x will be 18. And 2y also will be 18. If we divide by 2, x will be 9 and y will be 9. So, in this case, x plus y equal to what? 18. So, if we check x plus y, 18, 24, and 50. We found three answers for x plus y. Please don't forget to subscribe. I will tell you different ideas like SFFT and other ideas that are useful in any exam from basic level up to hardest level. And uh, please don't forget to like the video and let me write one homework for you. As a homework, you can solve this. X and Y are integers. And 1 over x plus 1 over y equal to 3 over 8. Not positive integers. All the integers you can use here. Mm -hmm. So the problem says x plus y equal to what? Comment your answers below this video. Thanks.